Welcome to the Fruitful Hands. I'm Diana. And I'm Katie. And we are so happy to be here. Yes. It has been a long time, over it feels a month. like. It has been over mm -hmm. a month. We've been really uh, crazy on our end. I'm sure y'all have too. It doesn't seem like, it seems like Christmas was forever ago. It does, yeah. But this is January the 18th. I think so. So it's not even been a month ago. Mm -hmm. But um, we had a, I had a lovely uh, holiday season. We were supposed to have all the kids for the end gathering is what I usually refer mm -hmm. to it as. But um, two of my children, uh, one had a sick little one with RSV and another daughter had the flu, so they stayed away. But somehow in the midst of it, we who were there started coming down with something after people returned home. Yes. So I got sick. But only some of us. Yeah, and yeah. different things. I mean, yeah. I had a really bad sore throat and that, uh, you know, coughing and all that. And I still mm -hmm. cough some. Mm -hmm. I still have a little bit of a sore throat. But other than that, I didn't run a temp or mm -hmm. anything. And then one of my daughters, her children, and she, and her husband, the whole family, got the flu A. And then another one, uh, they they had the flu. Mm -hmm. And so, I had what you had. Yes. But then none of my kids haven't been sick yeah. for. So it's just really weird. Yeah. Because we were together the whole time. Mm -hmm. You know, the whole Christmas weekend. So um, I started feeling bad on Christmas afternoon. So, but somebody had, was feeling bad on Sunday and Saturday. And, Monday. But anyway, we're better now. Yeah. I'm better now. Yeah, I'm, I'm better. Yeah, so we, we feel very blessed to have had that time together. Um, and I, honestly, I'm really looking forward to the next week or so. Uh, all the kids and grandkids are coming in. We're going to have a celebration. I turned the big 6 a couple weeks ago. <laughs> so they're coming in and we're going to have a big shindig. Mm -hmm. That's what I wanted for my birthday was yeah. just having my kids and grandkids. So hopefully we all stay healthy. Everybody stays healthy. Yeah. Say a little prayer. I've learned to hold things loosely. Mm -hmm. exactly. You know, we make plans and everybody yeah. does their best to, to, mm -hmm. to stay healthy and be healthy and do, but yes. you know, it's life happens and it's just, uh, we're hoping everybody can come. Yeah. So, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah. Um, I was on a week long trip to San Francisco with yes. my husband, which was amazing. That's one thing I was holding. Mm -hmm. I was like, I didn't even think I was going until I was on the plane. Yes. And my plane landed. And yes. Like, yes. I'm here. Yes. <laughs> okay, we're doing it. <laughs> but, you know, thankfully my children did not get the flu. Yes. And so they were able to, you know, stay with grandparents and they lived their best life with their grandparents up in, in uh -huh. Ohio. They were... They... Yeah, they love it. They're so. only grandchildren right now on that and mm -hmm. on her on Samuel's side. Yes. So you know they had a week with them. Yeah. And they loved it. Yes. And they have you know some aunts that's still in the house. Yes. So it was it was a lot of fun. Yes. So they had fun. I had a lot of fun. I did not get much knitting done. In fact, I didn't get any knitting done uh, yes. because I am expecting. Yes. I am ten weeks. Baby's ten weeks. And so something about that first trimester, yes. the nausea, the, I don't know what, the tiredness, yeah. I don't know what it is, but like it, knitting makes me nauseous. Yes. Can you believe it? I know. Yeah. And she was very green over the Christmas yes. holidays. Yeah, I was pretty... she's, yeah, she's doing better now, mm -hmm. but she still has days. But yes. I mean, remember the last time yes. you were pregnant with your little boy, uh, we had we went to Black Mountain, mm -hmm. just the two of us. Yeah. And um, she was pretty yeah. green. That was like the very beginning of me uh -huh. getting sick. And so thankfully, like, honestly, I think sleep helps a lot. In yes. San Francisco, I was able to sleep. So yes. I felt decent. On, yes. You know, I still felt the low grade nausea, but it wasn't like, what, where's, yeah. where are my exit signs? <laughs> <laughs> yes, where can I get so, off this? Yes. Yeah, so knitting hasn't been huge in my life lately, which is totally fine. Yep. It'll come back. It I was will. afraid when I was pregnant with my son, I was like, I'm never going to knit again. And she did. And I did. So yeah. it'll, come, it'll back. come back. So yeah. Yeah. Lots of happiness around yes. here. And we're, you know, you know how it is. It's like, 
oh, I'm so sorry you're sick, but I'm so thankful yes, you're sick. Exactly. So um, hopefully it's a short lived. Mm -hmm. You know, she'll be finished with it the first trimester mm -hmm. and then just all from there. Maybe. Yeah. Um, I am curious. If anyone else who has been expecting and in the first trimester, if knitting has been like a no-go or oh, yeah. able to like, yeah. So comment below if you are yes. like, I understand. Yeah. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Cause I was, I didn't knit when I was expecting right. any of my pregnancies. So yeah. I don't, I have no clue. I, yeah. I don't now, but when I do feel bad, I don't knit. Ex yes, exactly. Yeah. Like after surgery for yeah. a bit, you didn't. Yeah. Knit, so, yeah. So I could completely understand. You do. Yeah. 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 So, but we are so thankful to be back with yes. y'all and people have reached out. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry it's taken so us funny. a while, but mm -hmm. we have just gotten our legs under us and we've yeah. had some weather yeah. the last week. Mm -hmm. um, actually, yesterday, the coldest place in the lower 48 mm -hmm. was in Kentucky in Monticello. I saw that. Uh, it was negative 22 degrees. And it's so weird because everything around it was like negative. Oh, no, I yeah. don't know. Just that yeah. spot. I mean, it was verified, however right. they do I all saw that. that yeah. yeah. So, I mean, so I don't know what the wind chill factor was, but Oof. I mean, you know. And my daughter who lives in Memphis, they had like four inches of snow. We had oh, maybe right. half an inch. Yeah. We're supposed to get more tonight, yes. possibly up to three inches. Yes. But Yes. We live on a country road and it is very uh, like a lane and a half. And so. You know, everybody else will be clear, and our little country road is still ice. So, you know, it's... Yeah. And when the kids were little, I was always like, yay, it's snowing, and we're good. Mm -hmm. So, and now it's the... I feel the same way, but I just wish we had more of the littles at home. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's good. We should all, when we know there's a bad storm coming, the ones just that live in town the just go to the farm. Yes, <laughs> yes, because we Stock have little up. hills. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. Bring just, groceries and just... Yeah. Snuggle up. Okay, so we've been chatting for seven yes. minutes. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and get into what we're wearing. What yes. are you wearing, Kat? I'm wearing my trusty Monday sweater. Trusty um, Monday. With a uh, Monday sweater by Petit Knit. Mm -hmm. And the yarn is Olivia and Oliver Fibers in the color pink marble she's having an update february 9th oh and so her colors i think it's like endless autumn maybe and mm -hmm. they're there's one that's like similar to this and there's just like really beautiful like pink screens so go check out her instagram because so how often does she have not very often so she has like i feel like she does her advent and she comes up with new colorways okay. and then like she does something at the very beginning of the year okay and comes up with new colorways but she always has stuff in the shop oh, okay yeah so this is a pre-order but she typically has stuff in her shop and we'll do updates at the end of every month i think based off of what people have like ordered okay. died to order and she'll okay. do a little extra and like put it in the shop and you what know? is the name of the company one more time um, olivia and all of her fibers okay and where is she at of do you remember? It's not Denmark, but it is somewhere over okay. there. Okay. Okay. If y'all know, it's your, it's, know. A, it's Europe. Okay. Um, sorry. That's all right. I just see. That's not my. Yeah. That's not my excuse. But okay. Okay. I am wearing the Badger and Bloom, and I knit this in January of last year. Nice. So this is Anne Vinsel. And I loved it. I loved to knit it. The, the uh, yarn is Biche Bouche. Mm -hmm. Thank y'all for letting us know how to pronounce it. I hope I did it right. Mm -hmm. It's knit in very light pink and black. I think. Oh, very dark gray. Do you need to that? I don't know. No. Okay. I'm going to Okay. Sorry, oh, no, my no, phone's. No. Sorry. We 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 record. <laughs> we record on my phone. So unfortunately, I didn't. I don't know how to make people not contact mm -hmm. me when we're doing it. So apologize for that. She may cut this out. No, okay. That's fine. That's fine. So uh, and I knit. This is an extra extra large. And as you can extra extra large. And as you can tell, it's very roomy. It's very boxy. Mm -hmm. The sleeves are nice and long. Yeah, that's so good. Um, and this is. I mean, I can still smell. The rustic. Oh, uh huh. Can you? Mm hmm. Oh, so yeah. I still, I love it. I still smell. I do have something on under it. Mm -hmm. It's not itchy though, up on my neck. I don't, it doesn't come all the way up. So 
but yeah. it is very it is a very warm wool mm -hmm. um and the sweater is very i just love it and mm -hmm. just is so striking um it is really beautiful and it definitely blocked softer mm -hmm. after i blocked it it was a bit, it was much softer okay. than when i was knitting with it and what are y'all doing for your hands when you're knitting with wool in the winter i mean mine uh, Especially are, lately, it's been yes. so dry. I, I lotion, 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 mm -hmm. and put on really heavy stuff mm -hmm. sometimes, like, like right upper bed. Floor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But mine do right in the corners of my oh. fingernails. Yeah, so I'm always putting oh. stuff, but it just is, yeah. So, uh, let's see, is there anything else? Uh, sleeve needle size was fives and threes. I'd say that's what I knit. And it oh. took me about a month to make it that's because nice. it's big. It's yeah. a big, you know. That's I loved so it. Loved it. Yeah, I like those colors too. Yeah. Too. So it was a fun. I would knit out of this yarn again mm -hmm. for sure, because it was a nice, it was a nice knit. Mm -hmm. And I think yeah, I got this uh, yarn at Black Mountain. Oh yeah, yeah. They're good. We love them. We do love them. They're <laughs> good. We always like to take a trip down there. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So what else? What do you? How many whips do you have? Um, I have three finished objects. Oh, well, go girl. Yeah. Well, so. Confession, we did film a podcast probably a month ago or like a three week, weeks ago, three probably. Weeks ago. Yeah. I don't even know what happened. We just, you know. I think she, I think she was feeling so poorly oh, yeah, that we just, she, we didn't feel we were at our best. Yeah. And was... we didn't really want to edit it to make it better than what it would have been. <laughs> it was just, so. I think a week had passed. And we yeah. Were we were like, just like, don't just worry not. about it. That's just <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Yeah. It was, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. I don't know. It's thankfully I'm not as bad as I was. So yes, it's, we are thankful. Still not knitting though, but okay. Whoops, so I I'm finished so sorry. these for the kiddos' stockings, and they're the thickness socks by Summer Lee. They are so good. They are clearly they've been. Oh, maybe you can't see, but they have been loved these socks so much. And so this yarn is Emma Yarns. I think it's Christmas sprinkles. And then I did these for my son out of the same Those yarn are so cute. I did for my husband. I, he doesn't wear these because we have wood floors. Oh, and they're I need to ha just have him sleep in them though. Okay. Yeah. Really well, you could cool. maybe sew a little piece of suede on the bottom. That's a good idea. Yeah, I should do that. Um, but this is Explore Knits and Fibers. They're so cute. I can't remember. And his daddy has some like yeah, those. Yeah, so I need to get a picture of their little feet together. Yes. That'd be so cute. So anyway, that the thickness socks by Summerly. It's a DK weight for socks and I love it. Yeah. It's awesome. Size four needles. It's they're cute socks. Yeah. I need to get that pattern. Okay. Yeah. I've got one, a finished okay. object too, I forgot about. Okay. Y'all yeah. remember that flax red pullover that I showed you and I knit it. I love it. It's the one that bled so much. Mm -hmm. So on a, I went to, to our local yarn shop, Ray Bell's. And she said, anytime a yarn bleeds on your fingers that much, that's a sign that it's not color, you know, they, there's something. It's messed up. Yeah, it's not right. Because you, you're knitting out of that mm -hmm. and it doesn't do that to your fingers, mm -hmm. right? So I just got a batch that had not been whatever, you know, color fasted enough. I don't know what mm -hmm. that process would be called. So she said, what you need to do is, and see, I had already caked it all up. Yeah. And I have four skeins. So what you need to do is you need to unscan, you know, uncake it, put it back in a skein. So I did. Tied up four different spots so it didn't get all ravelly, and then uh, get a big pot of water and boil it and put some vinegar in it, and then so put the, your yarn in there, and then let it boil for like ten minutes, and then uh, or let it, you know. I'm, I mean, it was a soft boil, but boil mm -hmm. for 10 minutes and then turn off the water and then let it cool in the pot. So I did that and then uh, let it dry and then hung it up to dry uh, and I knit with it. I, I, that that sweater, that flax sweater, it uh, I knit it from the body down and put the collar on last. So that collar was very, it wasn't going to stretch. And my grandson that I had been knitting it for, he his head is a little bit big because he hasn't grown into it yet. So, which he will, he's just got a lot of brains up there. Mm -hmm. So I, I knew it wouldn't fit him. So I gave that to a deserving little one who loves all the knits. And so she has enjoyed it immensely. Mm -hmm. and, but it's still, I mean, so anyway, I decided to knit my grandson and Elwood 
cardigan like I did my other grandson for Christmas. And I used the red, the Ravelry Red out of Malabrigo. And the blue is called Bobby Blue. I love mm, it, love it, love it. But the red is still bleeding. So when I, when I realized that, I just picked a yarn that it wouldn't really, if it did mm -hmm. bleed, it wasn't gonna. But I mean, I'm gonna call this an FO. I need to get the buttons. I may try and do that today on my mm -hmm. way home. And sew those on, cause I'll see him this weekend. But I started this maybe four, to, four or five days before Christmas. So mm -hmm. I knew I wasn't gonna get it done. And it's big enough that he can wear this. Mm -hmm. It's it's gonna fit him. He'll yeah. probably have to turn the sleeves up right now. Yeah. But I, this is size eight years. Um, oh. Yeah, so he'll be able to wear that for a year or two. Mm -hmm. And, uh, the yarn is so soft. It is. I love the yarn, but mm -hmm. I don't like that. And any time from now on, when I do red yarns, mm -hmm. I'm going to do one skein and see how it behaves. Yeah. Because. And dark yarn. And like dark, yeah. Black or navy. Or, yes. Yeah. Because yeah, sometimes it will. Because you had that happen mm -hmm. with a sock yarn. A heel. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, I did. It was so, dark purple. So I knit this out of the Rio Smellabrigo Rios, which is a worsted weight yarn. I used size seven for the main needle and size six for the ribbing. Um, the eight year size is a 29 and one fourth chest. And like I said, this red bled a lot. I mean, I mm -hmm. rinsed it 13 times with that flax pullover. And then, you know, I, I did what they told me to do and I, it's still bleeding, so I don't know. So just wash it by itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I knit this pretty. Uh, you know, after Christmas, I kind of slowed down on it, but I do love it. Yeah, it's, it's a really, really cute. Pretty. And his his family likes the Louisville Cardinals, and our family likes UK Wildcats. So it's kind mm -hmm. of a, a homage to <laughs> the to the university's <laughs> rivalry. Yeah. So mm -hmm. yeah, that was a fun knit. I loved it. Yeah. I love that sweater. It's that my go-to for a cardigan. Um, like I said, it's the Elwood by Jenny Weeby or Wybie. Mm. So mm -hmm. it's a great pattern. Okay. Nice. Sorry. No, go I ahead. I just realized one of the ends <laughs> popped through. That's all right. I got, she loves so, that sweater. She does. She wears this so much. So this is the Little Rosa. I finally finished it. Um, it could probably seem to be a little bigger, longer in the arms and body, but she wears she's it. She's a tall girl. Yeah, yeah she wears it. And I'm sure I will make her another cardigan. But um, one thing I did differently is it tells you to just continue in mm -hmm. these um, yarn overs until you reach. But it was not going to be a full repeat, if that makes sense. It was going to be like two rows of dots or something. So I just did knit through the back loop or whatever mm -hmm. to make it close because I just wanted it to be... Um, you know, I didn't want like right. a half done. Right. Iron, so. You didn't want that lace going down into yes. the underarm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, anyway. It's very she cute. She loves it. it. Oh. What yarn? Karen. Uh, Karen. Yep. And it's like neon pink or something. And then she chose these buttons. She loves it. I was wearing a, a pink vest the other day. Was it a vest that I was wearing? I don't remember. It was a pink sweater. It, uh, yeah, it was a vest. And she said, Nana, can you knit me a pink vest? Anytime I wear a knitted item that she knows I knit, <laughs> Nana, can you knit me one of those? Yes. Yes. She is. Yeah. yeah, she loves knits. Mm -hmm. she, she does. does. She's very knit weather because yeah. she's, anytime I wear something, mm -hmm. oh, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, did which you is really, yeah. yeah, did you knit yeah. that? That's beautiful. I anytime she that. goes outside, she's like, I need a scarf. A scarf. I need to knit her a hat. Yeah. She's grown out of all the hats I've made. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> okay. I worked on my Mauritian yesterday. Got the button band on. All right. I've been working on something like crazy. I'll show it in a minute. Okay. But I really, this, it's, this is by Isabel Kramer. I'm glad I remembered that. <laughs> but see, it's just a little bitty button band. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the, the neck is just really a very simple Oh, so that's, yeah, the, that's, that's it. the neck. Nice. So now I'm on the sleeves. I started it yesterday. Yay. So yeah, that's hopefully by so the end pretty. of January, I might yes. have it done. I love this. This is Life in the Long Grass Yarn. I've talked about it before. It's, um, I love it. It's, it doesn't smell like the Bichet Bouche mm -hmm. yarn, which I really do like the smell of the rustic yarns. Uh, it's softer on my hands now to knit mm -hmm. with. 
I'm sure it will be even softer after I block it. Yeah. But I, I got to see that. Yeah. Right? I got that yarn from um, Black Mountain. Mm -hmm. Love it. Go. Love it. Um, I do have two whips to show. I haven't worked on these in a while, but I think I definitely have done progress on both. So these are my hibernal socks, I'm, I believe. Um, the yarn is by Woolberry Fiber Co. She's also, she's having a Jane Austen oh, really? yarn book club. And I think she releases like one yarn every, I don't know how it works. But anyway, she, um... She's doing that in February or March. So if you like Jane Austen and you like Woolberry's yarn, definitely check out her Instagram. I feel like a lot of people are doing some like yarn. Oh yeah. Like um yarn updates coming up. So I think they do after the first of the yes. year, don't you feel like? Yeah, I think so too. This is from her caboose collection, Pig Patootie. And I can't remember. This is like I can't remember what that is, but it's the color that came with it. So okay. still the first sock. It's very cute. <laughs> okay. Do y'all remember my little gnome bag? Mm -hmm. There is a story behind this. Okay, the last time you saw this, I had my Christmas socks in here, the stripies. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't finish those for Christmas. <laughs> so those are put into timeout mm -hmm. until probably November. I've got myself a little <laughs> note, finish those, so I will. But in this bag, so, and the reason why is because this is the, uh, this is the downfall of non-monogamous knitting. And I started to do something on Instagram about it because it was so funny. But I just was like, I can't believe yeah, I did that. Okay, I haven't told her this. So I looked for this for two weeks. And I looked in all the spots I stash, mm -hmm. you know, my projects that I'm working on. Because I've got a few. Mm -hmm. So, and then I looked and looked and could not find it. Because I thought that's an easy knit because it's just, it stripes itself. Mm -hmm. And I can just do it. So I looked and looked, well, I didn't find it. So my husband and I, we generally go out to this restaurant and usually we go to the one that's by our house. And this time we went to one that's further downtown. And we do that maybe once every two months, once a month maybe, because we've been in town. So anyway, and usually we sit in the back of the restaurant, back uh, in a booth, because we always like booths. Mm -hmm. Well, this time they didn't have a booth in the back, so we kind of sat up near the front, but we could see the, uh, this is the bag I'm talking about, but we could see the back of the cash register. Mm -hmm. So what I want y'all to focus on right now is look at this. Do y'all notice anything under their cash register? I was trying to, I does it look here. a little bit like this? And I had, I, I saw that and we were in mid mill <laughs> and I'm like, and Dan's like, what? What? <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. And it was laying better that you could see the gnomes. So mm -hmm. I'm like, I think you have my knitting bag under here. She's like, oh, yeah. I mean, it had to have been there two or three weeks. Aww. So she handed it to me, and I sat back down, and I'm like going through this with Dan. He's like, oh, my word. <laughs> okay. So then I went back up there and said, could you just put that back down there so I could get a picture, so I could put it on Instagram? daughter and I do it. So they did. But that, is that not, I mean, it was all, somebody was looking out for me. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> because, so because not only did I have that yarn in there, but I had yeah. a set of double points oh. and I had a, a circular, long yeah. circular because I used different ones. And then I had, you know, so I mean, it's not like just the yarn and one right. pair of needles. Right. In the work. In the work. Yeah. So anyway, I was like, oh That's man. So you know, there are angels amongst us looking out for us. Because it had been there two or three weeks. I don't know. So I put my, um, what is this one? The coffee by K. Morning coffee socks. Morning coffee socks. So I'm still working on those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Something about winter socks aren't. They're not my, on the top of my list. Yeah. But I need to finish it because I think that's as long as I'm going to make the top. Oh, yeah. So I just Is need that to the second one or the first? I don't know. It's oh, just the first. Okay. And I haven't started the second one. But it's a quick little net. I mm -hmm. like it. I don't know that I'll use that row counter because it's kind of fiddly. I feel oh, like yeah. it slows me down. The only thing is I cannot... You know, I have to really count and count because the yarn is so... If I did that pattern again, mm -hmm. I would use a solid, yeah. a tonal. as so you opposed can see to, the pattern. Yes, it's so, so much I can, easier yes. to count that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but I love it. I think, yeah, I'm so thankful that I found my... Yeah. 
knows? My thumb bag. So yeah, mm -hmm. that's the only, you know, cautionary tale of a non-monogamous <laughs> knitter. <laughs> that's really funny. It was so funny. I wish you'd been there because you would have done it. I can't believe you could have appreciated it oh, if yeah. you'd been there with me. Oh, I definitely would have. Yeah. yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. All right. So this is my last whip, I guess. Um, but I have, I think I've made a lot of progress since last time. <laughs> well, yeah. Like a few weeks ago, I did. Yeah. This is the Melon Headband by Sari Norton. You've made a lot of progress on I that. I mean, and that's going to be like double layered yes. on your ears. That's yeah, really so cute. Excited. Oh, that's going to be so cute. I really wanted it done like yeah. by Christmas, but clearly I've yeah. got like half of it still to go. I, okay. It's a lot of fun. Um, yeah. I do have to look at the pattern, but it's like definitely repeating. Yes. So, yeah, I like it. I love it. The yarn is left over from my Illuminate. Illuminated? Mm -hmm. Illuminate. Um, okay. And this is a little bit bougie. And a little bit I bougie. Love it. Yeah, I it's, do love it. It's like just enough yarn to make the headband. So that's a lot of fun to like yes. find the perfect, yes. perfect one. To do. Well, and I don't like to play yarn chicken. <laughs> I'm the worst at that. Oh, I'm a bit. I'm like. We got this. Yeah. See, I am I'm not. It's it. like, I need to know that I've got enough to finish. Yeah. Although, you wouldn't know that by my ranoculus sweaters. <laughs> yeah. No. Because sometimes I'm at this. Okay. This, I have two more whips. Yeah. I want okay. to see. Okay. This one is, if you want to get that out and show, mm -hmm. and I'll find the pattern for it real okay. quick. It is, um, no. Oh, this is it. I'm taking this cable needle. Okay, yeah. Okay. So this is Jace, Jason's, it's a free pattern, Jason's Cashmere Hat. And it's by uh, Melissa from Sweet Fiber Yarns. It's little. It is. So that's the brim. Nice. Sorry. Uh -huh. And you I can find the tag for the, this is the picture of the, it's got cables. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. It's one from her blog. So it's called Jason's Cash Cashmere Hat. Yeah, I like that. From Sweet Fibers. And it's an easy knit. I've knit these before. Um, so you can go in there and it's free. Yep. It's um well one it? pure wool superwash worsted. And the color's rich red. Yep. And I got that on sale. I got that up at Stitch Craft. Stitch Arm Studio. Yeah, Stitch Arm Studio. Thank That's you, Katie. Cute. Okay. So you're getting ready for the cables, or have you done? Yes, that? I'm. Okay. I, I needed my cable needle. That's oh. why I stuck it in there. Oh. I didn't have it with me. I mean, I probably don't, but I'm not that coordinated to cable mm. without a cable yeah. needle. I don't do enough of it. I mean, yeah. maybe I'll try it, but okay. Then let's see one more thing. The other thing is this one I started. Can't wait to see the anthology throw, and I have wanted to knit this. For quite it, a while. For quite a while. Helen Stewart. It is such a lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, wow. Isn't that gorgeous? That's her with it on. You know, and I thought, I mean, it's almost like a piece of art, honestly. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Wow. You know, that's on her bed. But I was thinking you could even, like, get a... Here, I'll get my mm -hmm. nail. You could even get, like, a... Um, a, a piece of wood or a limb, a skinny, like, or a dowel or something, mm -hmm. and put it over that and hang it yeah. up high as a piece of art. Okay. That would be really Y'all know my, oh. yeah, my um, advent, my Christmas advent for, from Sweet, Sweet Skein of Mine. Yeah. Or Skein of Mine, Sweet Skein of Mine, I think. Oh, this my is word. it. And it is, look how, I mean, this is the center. Oh I mean, I can't even. You can't even. You can't even. So it Blocking is. Crazy. It's going to be. I'm going to have to do it on a bed, probably. But I've got three oh more. No, no. I love it. It is so fun because the colors change, and I just did them in the order I got them. Yeah. I didn't try to color place anything. I just thought I'm just going to because that it, yeah. that just takes too much headspace. But that is the middle, and see how. I mean, how much you have, yeah. but then the wider you get, mm -hmm. I mean, and I thought, I was like, oh man, these are getting really skinny, but the color changers are so good together yeah. that it's not like, 
So I'm gonna use this one is what I'm using now. And then I'm gonna use that one. And I'm probably gonna need some of the third of the okay. one that I didn't. So I'm gonna use this on the end, but then I'm gonna, I've got some of this kind of pinky, mm -hmm. that mar deep maroon pinky. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I've got, I'm gonna put that on the very edge. Nice. So I'm really excited to finish. That's so pretty. There's over a thousand needle or stitches on my needle right oh, now. Right. So, and you do that for probably seven or eight rows, maybe more. Wow. But uh, I really love the pattern. And um, it's it, it's an easy knit because I can watch TV and do it. Mm -hmm. And I've been working oh on word. it since probably the first of the year. Oh my word! Uh -huh. I mean, just look at those. Aren't those that gorgeous? Is so fun. It is. It's so fun wow. because it's just you don't have to do a lot of thinking. Mm -hmm. So I can knit on it when I wasn't feeling well. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I love it. Love it. Love that it. is so pretty. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. I can't wait to, um, it is a fiddle, a little bit fiddly starting it in the middle, mm -hmm. but I mean, and I st I need to cinch that up, but, and, and this is a no waste. I mean, I've knit, I haven't changed yarn when the pattern calls for it. I just knit to the end of the skein mm -hmm. and then I join the next cause it doesn't bug me yeah. about where I'm starting. And, yeah. Yeah, it's so fun. That is it's so fun. fun. So it's like a scarf or you could a blanket. Or yes. Or just a piece of art mm -hmm. for your yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. But see the edges, I'm getting to the part where you're doing kind of the lacy pointy mm -hmm. for the edges because it's kind of Oh see, I see that. Yeah. So it's kind of got some a ripply I don't know if you can see that or not. There you go. See that? And then I'll finish with that pink on the very edge. Mm -hmm. That sounds Isn't that so going to be cute? Yes. So I really do like it. I really love, love it. I haven't started my afghans. You remember I bought that kit. Mm -hmm. I really would like to. I mean, we have a couple months of yeah. really. And it is just the granny stitch. Mm -hmm. And you're not making granny squares. So probably that's the next big thing on knit like mm -hmm. that. Although, did you see um, Andrea Mowry's uh, newest cow? The Traveler's yes. Cow. Yeah, that's cute. And I think, see, I love, what is that one that we made, the cow? The Shift. The Shift. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. I, and I wear that more than I wear any of my shawls. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's funny. Because I think it stays put. Yes. You don't so, have to worry about it falling off. You don't have to worry about it falling off. Mm -hmm. So, I think what I'm going to do is get that pattern and mm -hmm. knit it. Uh, in like a like a worst like a bigger mm -hmm. so it'll be kind of big yeah. as opposed to the small uh -huh. and then I and then because and it'll be it's kind of you stitch it up in the back mm -hmm. I'm sure it's probably like this yeah but yeah cute yeah we'll yeah, see that if that's cute do you have anything you're looking forward to um not really. yeah <laughs> I haven't oh, yeah she's been able to put too much well yeah. I haven't been able to I just haven't put much thought into knitting lately yeah. so who knows? I did knit like a few rows on one of my socks. Oh yeah. A few weeks ago, but that was when I wasn't feeling the best, so maybe I could try again. But yes. uh, it's weird, like the mojo's gone. Yeah. The, yeah. So, It'll come back. Yeah. It came back the last time. But I've been doing a lot of reading. Yes. So. Have you read anything you want to share? Um, I got into Agatha Christie. Oh yeah. She's pretty neat. So that's kind of like you know fun. Yeah. Um, I started. Uh, the picture of Dorian Gray. Oh yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm halfway through, so yeah, you know, so it's. I feel like it's good to read stuff that's like not totally. Yeah. Well, you know, just your typical. Yeah. Like Agatha Christie's not my typical reading. But yes. It's she's really. Yeah. It's like potato chippy. You just. Yes. Like, I read it on the plane and I. Basically, read it on one of the flights. So, oh, really? Yeah. Well, you'll have to let me borrow that yeah. one. It's yeah. been years since I've read her stuff. Yeah. So, it's just nice to enter into another world. Yes. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Try to forget your the, the present, the nausea. <laughs> yeah. We, it, my husband, her daddy, and I stopped by yesterday to see mm -hmm. her and the kids. And she was like, Thanks for stopping, stopping by. You broke up our day, <laughs> the nausea day. Yeah. So, Yep. I am venturing into needlepoint again. I used to needlepoint quite a bit. And um, in our area, there is, uh, people do belts, a lot of belts. I'm sure y'all probably do that too, some of you. So my husband, I knit him, or knit, I, 
I needle pointed a belt for him probably 20, 25 years ago, and he wears that mm -hmm. thing all the time. Well, it started wearing the uh, the pearl cotton started wearing, and he started getting holes in the you know in the pearl cotton, not the canvas. Mm -hmm. So I picked up another one for him. So he loves his UK belts. So this is what I'm going to work on for him for. And it's a very, I mean, it's our, it's painted, and you just do the little stitches. It's like a half cross stitch all the way across. Wow. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, so it's, you know, it's just brainless, mm -hmm. you know, stitching. But I like to, I don't know what it is. I just, I like to have something in my hands mm -hmm. when I'm sitting, talking, yeah, whatever. Yeah. I like to be doing something. I think they would probably label me ADHD if I... Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> but, you know. Yeah, it is, it, it at least, like, I keeps know, me nice, busy. Yeah, exactly. And to have something to do. And like, it feels productive. productive exactly. Yes, exactly. And he did love that belt. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was really, I'm like, hun, you can't wear that anymore. I can see the canvas. So. No. And I'm, he, I've done him two other ones, but yeah. he likes that one the best. Yeah, I was gonna say I thought you yeah. done. I did one with just his initials on it, and maybe two stri you know, maroon, mm -hmm. and with the little navy blue in it. And then I did him one with horses and yeah. racing silks. Uh -huh. But he doesn't wear that one much. So huh. yeah, well, he might have forgotten he had it. Yeah, because I I was looking <laughs> for the one that he would we you know had we need to retire, mm -hmm. and I couldn't find it. But I saw the other two. Oh yeah, I should have brought them. But yeah, 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 you should have. That'd so. be good. Any any dream knitting for you? Uh, just, I'd like to get one of those Afghans done. I've gotten mm -hmm. to, I did buy the Pearl Soho um, linen quill, that uh, Afghan. Oh, yeah. nice. And I, I feel like it is light enough that I can do that into the spring and summer. Mm -hmm. But the other one is... Uh, it's worsted, right? Uh, or, no. Oh. The linen quill? No, no, no. no. The, the oh, one. the other one. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, I feel like I probably won't want to do that right. when it starts to get warmer. So I'll probably do start that one next. Mm -hmm. And that one, I found that the Nitty Cats, and mm -hmm. I can't remember who she found it from, but the same one I used to read her blog all the time. Oh yeah, remember it's yeah. in that podcast I showed you my that when I got that mm -hmm. kit. Uh, but uh, yeah, the Nitty Cats. I was I was watching her earlier, and uh, she's talking about a Norwegian mitten knitting Ooh. and uh she had knit a pair and she has somebody she's zooming with somebody from nor norway and talking about it oh wow uh, so that was very interesting that's so cool. uh yeah you may want to jump over there and yeah. see that the other one that i really like the knitting uh podcast right now is uh mostly knitting okay. tash because she uh she does little uh tutorials and different things and she's a very technical she's a math mm, person okay. have you watched her i haven't you if you would i think you would enjoy yeah. her uh but she does you know and she talks about what she does and how she does it and why she did it and all mm -hmm. this good stuff so awesome. um yeah. yeah so if you if you want more technical mm -hmm. and stuff yeah but i don't really have anything pattern wise that i'm just like oh this mm -hmm. is Definitely, I want to finish that Marie Shan, and I only yeah. have the sleeves, so, yeah, you're so I close. feel like that will be close. I need to yeah. get buttons for that. Mm -hmm. um, and is there anything else I've started? I feel like there is, but I can't think of what it is at the moment. No, nope, mm -hmm. just the socks. Yeah. Nice. So um, I need to go through my stash. Yeah, because I've got a lot of good stuff mm -hmm. that I could pull something out. Yeah, and start. exactly. Yeah, I know. Hopefully my. I'll get back to knitting here soon. You then, will. You yeah. will. And if yeah. not, you'll you'll find something else. Yeah, right? exactly. To share with us. <laughs> yes, all my yeah. books. <laughs> all your books. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let us know if y'all have any good reads. Yes. Yes. Because I'm always way. interested in, it's mm -hmm. been a while since I've read a book. I usually mm -hmm. listen. Yeah. And right now I'm listening to All the Light We Cannot See. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that, like I said, on Netflix, if you haven't seen that. Have you all watched that? Uh -huh. No, we haven't. It's really good. Huh. Really, just the cinema, cinematography. Mm -hmm. And it's just really good. The nice. actors, yeah. It's yeah. just really. So. Huh. We'll have to check that out. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you all for joining yes. us. Yes. Stay warm. Stay warm, yeah. I yeah. feel like the whole, well, I don't know about like. 
other continents. <laughs> yeah, I know, like you know, yeah. central the central United States or whatever has. Yeah, I feel like we've been in a polar vortex. Yeah. Or like something. flying back from oh, San Francisco, yeah. we were like there were like people that we were with were running into flight delays yes. and cancellations. Yeah, and I think so. Katie and Samuel got on like the last flight yeah. because we that's when the storm started mm -hmm. for our region. I think they had some issues getting back to. Yeah. But they, I mean, they were like two hours late, but right. the other people were like two days late. Yeah. The other one was like three days. Yeah. It took them to get home, so. Crazy. Crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah. So anyway, stay warm. Yeah. Thank Hope you all so much. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Hopefully we'll see you yes. sooner than. Thank you for joining us, new people. Thank you for joining us, old friends. We really value your friendship and mm -hmm. um, this community our uh emails down yeah. below oh. thank you for sending cards we have mm -hmm. had a few cards come in and those are really sweet emily thank you for yours um yes. and anything else instagram yeah we always say we're gonna get uh you know i'm telling you life is just well especially this past month it was like yeah we had good intentions yeah. but things kind of yeah. came out but hopefully we'll get back in the groove because yeah. i think it's supposed to warm up next week oh, good. so definitely yeah. we can katie yeah. will hopefully be feeling good and well mm -hmm. enough and yeah 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 happy so, knitting, happy knitting. <laughs>